have to help us! The yellow turbans are upon us! You have to save our village! Know your place! We are the Imperial Army! We have no time to waste with worthless plans! everything to us. Come, men. We must rescue the villagers. Cut down the yellow turban. Yes, my lord. We will keep the people safe. That's right, brother. We'll rip those yellow turbans to pieces. Somebody help us! Please! You want my head? Then come and take it if you dare! Are you destined to fall? I can't believe I've lost to someone as strong as you. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Just one to go. Let's finish them off. I can't believe I've lost to someone as scrawny as you. The job's just about done here, but I'm just getting warmed up. During the later Han period, the signs of impending rebellion were everywhere. Corruption within the Imperial court had thrown the land into chaos and caused the people to suffer greatly. In this time of uncertainty, the people found themselves yearning for change. Zhang Jiao, the leader of a religious sect known as the Way of Peace, fanned the flames of rebellion and formed an army. This uprising would later come to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The threat of the Yellow Turbans loomed like a dark cloud over the Han. Sensing their impending doom, the Imperial Court raised the call for troops across the land. Among those who answered was a man who fought on behalf of the people. His name was Liu Bei, and he was a descendant of Han royalty. Though we may have been born separately, we will die together as one. With this oath taken in the Peach Garden with his sworn brothers, Liu Bei joined the battle. For within his heart, there was no greater cause than to ease the people's suffering. Brother, we have fallen. What's the big hurry? It's not like they can't. No, he is right. You're too serious. Zhang Zhao is the man we need to defeat, right? Then let's do this. Believe it. I've never met someone so strong. 
Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Retreat! This is not the end! Thank you, I... Who are you? Well done. You are bold in our forces with your bravery. forces with your bravery. So you are my next opponent. My time is I'll now. crush you like all of the others.
remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Fighter. However, I will not be easily defeated. I will never move forward. I can't believe I lost to someone as strong as you. Retreat. Burn flames of judgment! Turn the infidels to ash! There is nothing to fear, brother. My time this is, is a mere parlor. What can a man of your indecision hope to achieve by defeating me? All I desire is an end to the chaos. <laughs> you fool. The Han's days are over. Defeating me won't stop anything at all. Perhaps that is so. But wherever people are suffering, I will be there. <laughs> you are so naive, you poor deluded fool. That naivety of yours will bring great suffering to those close to you. Ugh. Was his dream to save the people and the land itself destined to go unrealized? 
thanks in large part to the efforts of Liu Bei, the Yellow Turban Rebellion came to a much welcomed end. Afterwards, he continued to fight on behalf of the people, but the chaos showed no signs of abating. Meanwhile, the Han Imperial Court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. It was then that the nobleman Yuan Shao rose up. We must slay the ten eunuchs who are responsible for this corruption. He gathered together various warlords and eliminated the eunuchs. However, an even greater threat loomed over the assembled warlords. And that threat had a name, Dong Zhuo, a brutal warlord feared far and wide. Dong Zhuo manipulated the young emperor, soon ruling the capital through violence and fear. In response, Yuan Shao assembled the various warlords and formed a coalition against the tyrant. Rather than lament the endless chaos, Liu Bei wished to help the people who were suffering. And so, Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei found themselves heading to join the Allied camp. Before the Sworn Brothers stood the formidable gates of Sushui and Hulao. faces here today. Yes. Not only do we have Yuan Shao, the leader of the Alliance, but its instigator, Cao Cao, as well. Yuan Shu, Sun Jian, quite a list of dignitaries. Ha. And yet our brother is still unknown. At least, until we defeat Dong Zhuo here today, that is. <laughs> 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 